Okay, to get what's happening in Hong Kong, you need to know a few things about Hong Kong. Importantly, that it's a special administrative region of China. It has its own government, and people here vote for its own leader. But the candidates are handpicked by Beijing, so they're working with a bit of a stack deck. For a long time, like 150 years, Hong Kong was a British colony. It was payoff in a war. And it developed into one of the richest countries in Asia, like super rich. Then in 1997, Britain gave it back to China. But China had to promise that it would protect its autonomy, its independent courts, and the freedom of expression that is fundamental here for 50 years. And that is why people are protesting, because they feel that autonomy is under threat. It's about a proposed law. Hong Kong's pro-Beijing government came up with a bill to ensure fugitives can't hide out here. But people worry this extradition law is just cover to target anyone who criticizes China so they can be sent to the mainland and disappear into China's judicial system. And so they're protesting because they're actually allowed to. This would never happen in mainland China. And the protests have been huge. A sea of people in the streets, most of them wearing black, Organizers figure as many as two million. And we're talking all ages. Families with children, retirees, students, the opposition, it's across the board. It's putting a lot of pressure on Hong Kong's leader, Carrie Lam, who said she would hold off on the law. Then she apologized. But protesters say it's all too little, too late. And they've added her resignation to their list of demands. So what does China think of all of this? Officially, it's been pretty quiet. Though when protests grew chaotic and police were firing tear gas and rubber bullets, Beijing did call it a riot. Chinese media did too. But now they're saying the huge crowds, they're actually just parents worried about U.S. interference in Hong Kong's domestic affairs. So this is the most serious groundswell against Chinese rule since Hong Kong was given back 22 years ago. Where's it all going? It's hard to say. But the leader of pro-democracy protests here in 2014, he was just released from prison. He served half of a two-month sentence, and he came out swinging, vowing that Hong Kong's leader will resign. So expect more of this, because people believe that everything about Hong Kong that makes it Hong Kong is at stake. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.